Oh, yeah. Gluten-free cafe. Isn't that what's called? Mm -hmm. Cafe? In Roswell. Mm -hmm. Downtown Roswell. Yep. So the whole place is gluten-free, obviously. And I have myself a little empanada here. It's a spicy chicken empanada. We decided to go sweet and savory. Yeah. A little bit of both. Yep. Yeah. And I have an applesauce donut. We don't know what that means. I don't know what it is, but I saw it on the way here and I was like, I have to wear one. This is good. This is so good. Mmm. Yeah. That's good. What do you rate it? I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. I've had a lot of like not so good empanadas. I've had a lot of really good empanadas. Mm -hmm. My mother-in-law is Cuban and makes empanadas, so and hers are amazing. So it is very spicy. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. <laughs> Apparently, if you eat enough spicy food, you can slightly raise your metabolism because your heart rate goes so fast. Wait, really? Yeah. I give that like a nine out of ten. Yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Ooh. Oh. And it's an olive. Oh. Oh, I didn't get that. Hello. <laughs> if you're out and about and you need a little treat, that's the thing. Don't get this. You're just gonna you're gonna have a big fat yeah. crash. This is more of this a this is more of a little stabilizer throughout your day, but blood sugar stabilizer. Had to get this. Oh wow, it's dense. Very dense. Whoa. Wow. That's that's a donut. It doesn't taste like a donut. It tastes, it's cakier. It's very cakey. A donut to me is like light and airy. This is like thick. This is one of those dense donuts. Mm -hmm. For sure. Like I couldn't eat but a couple bites of this. Yeah, it's probably my last one. I mean, it's amazing. It's mm, very good. And a better option than going to Dunkin' Donuts. Mm -hmm. It's homemade. Yeah. Homemade just tastes better. Mm -hmm. It's just better for you. All right, so we're at a gluten-free cafe. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we have to talk about gluten. Well, gluten is one of the most inflammatory foods. That, gluten, dairy, and alcohol. The three most inflammatory things. So if you and feel corn. like- corn. And corn. Um, so if you feel like you're dealing with a lot of inflammation, start with gluten and see what happens. Yeah, well, because gluten's a protein. It's the binder. So that's why oftentimes gluten-free things like breads or pastries are like crumblier which is probably why this is denser because mm -hmm. they've found a way to like make it more dense so it doesn't crumble so much because it doesn't have the gluten binder mm -hmm. um but the thing is that with it when it's a binder in food it also binds to like the lining of your gut which is why it's so inflammatory um it's one of the highest offenders for leaky gut which is becoming more and more prevalent which i think we've talked about we talked about in the last video yeah so gluten's right in there with it. And uh, you do not have to be celiac to take gluten seriously. That is such a good point. What's interesting is like over time how your body builds a tolerance. People cut it out for a week mm -hmm. and they're like, I didn't see that much of a difference. It's mm -hmm. like, did you know like a thumbnail size, a little thumbnail amount of gluten will stay in your gut for up to 10 days. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Give it time. Yeah, you, that's why you need weeks for it to totally detox out of your system. So it could be something to experiment with. It's not gonna hurt you. Yeah. But just because something is gluten free does not mean it's healthy. Do you, do you want any more empanadas? I do. Go for it. I'm scared of yours. Why? It's like a roach. Don't say that. It's an olive. So if y'all are in the Roswell area, especially if you go to the Roswell strong side location come check this place out because the story is really amazing um the woman christy and her story of how she has five daughters and how they had to change the way they ate you know specifically towards 
them having special autoimmune disorders and needs. Um, and they found their way through healthy living through food and being dairy free and gluten free. So if you find yourself like wanting to experiment in that world and like what maybe try out one of those diets of cutting out one of those inflammatory things like Brindley mentioned, come check this place out because there are so many options here. Like you don't have to give up bread. You don't have to give up all the tasty treats, like especially if you're dealing with children. Um, I feel like a lot of kids have a lot of sensitivities nowadays that we're, maybe not nowadays, that we're just becoming more aware of. And this is a beautiful place to give you options if you feel like you're really struggling to find a way to balance the two of having a fun life and while also having a diet that needs to remove a lot of those inflammatory things. So come check this place out. What do you rate it? The whole thing? The whole oh. experience? Um, I gotta give it a 10 out of 10. Man, I just have a hard time giving anything a I 10 don't. out of 10. I'm just gonna give it a nine and a half out of 10 just because I'm stingy. Everything gets a 10. <laughs> but otherwise, everything I've tried is delicious and- I wanna try more, more. We'll come back. We will come back. Otherwise, yes. that's it though. That, 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 that's, that's it, that's all we got. That's it on iPod today. So go check out Christy's Kitchen in Roswell. After you take class. At Strong Side Roswell. See ya. Bye.